Natural Arthritis Relief. Known for its detoxification and cleansing properties fasting is considered by some as one of the greatest natural healing therapies available to us. Today more than ever our poor diet and environmental pollutants contribute to our poor health. The human body is today full of harmful toxins, organs, blood, even our bones. Getting rid of these toxins should be a priority for all of us, unfortunately this is not always so easy to do. Detoxification through fasting is known to have dramatic effects on many medical problems. Fasting when done properly will remove the harmful toxins from the body. Example A simple fasting method may consist of consuming only filtered or mineral water for two days. Over the two days you would drink around two liters of water a day. On the third day you would eat fruit and drink water, on day four you would just eat little portions of solid food, about half what you would normally eat at a sitting, but more often, with plenty of water. Day five, return to normal eating habit. There are lots of places to read up on different fasting procedures herbs, spices, and roots herbs and spices have been used to treat various diseases and ailments for thousands of years, both herbs and spices are excellent antioxidants with many contain excellent anti-inflammatory properties. Listed below are some of the best herbs and spices known to help arthritics. It may be helpful to try to incorporate some of these herbs into your everyday life. Herbs and spices should where possible be used in their natural form and taken as a tea, or added to food. The following herbs and spices are listed in order of their superior properties when used to treat arthritis. Some herbs and spices are known to interfere with certain prescribed medications, it is therefore always wise to consult with your doctor or a professional before introducing any of the following herbs into your diet. Turmeric has long been used to treat arthritis due to its anti-inflammatory property. Turmeric is also known to contain an antioxidant that neutralizes free radicals. Ginger Asian and Indian have been using ginger to treat arthritis for over 2,000 years due to its anti-inflammatory property. Devil's Claw Devil's Claw is native to parts of South Africa, where it is thought to have been used to treat arthritis for centuries. Two active ingredients called harpagoside and beta sitosterol are found in Devil's Claw which are thought to possess excellent anti-inflammatory properties. Devil's Claw is claimed to be beneficial for treating arthritis, rheumatism, arthritis and diseases of the liver, kidneys, gallbladder and bladder. Cat's Claw Cat's Claw has been used for over 2,000 years by the indigenous peoples of South and Central America to treat rheumatic disorders. Ingredients appear to act as anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and anti-cancer agents. Cat's Claw is found in the tropical jungles of South and Central America. Research has also indicated cat's claw may help in the treatment of intestinal ailments such as Crohn's disease, gastric ulcers and tumors, parasites, colitis, gastritis, diverticulitis and leaky bowel syndrome, cayenne pepper known to support the body's immune system. Used for treating arthritis, backache, heart disease, ulcers, indigestion, pain, psoriasis, and shingles. Use caution when introducing cayenne pepper into your diet, although it is known to benefit many arthritics, in some cases it may actually trigger symptoms. Cloves can kill intestinal parasites and act as an antimicrobial agent against fungi and bacteria. Helps relieve pain, digestive problems, and antifungal, antibacterial problems. Chewing a clove once a day may be beneficial to arthritics. Golden seal known to contain a powerful detoxifier. Parsley commonly used as a diuretic and to reduce inflammation, treat rheumatism and arthritis, clear toxins in the body, inhibit tumor growth, and combat urinary tract problems. Licorice root contains phytoestrogens. Used to treat ulcers and known to have antiviral, anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory properties. Do not use licorice root if you have high blood pressure as large doses or prolonged use may increase blood pressure. Do not use if you retain water easily. Vitamins for arthritis I must admit to not being a big fan of capsule type supplements. Supplements in pill form may not be what they seem, even the good ones contain fillers and binding agents. Supplement manufacturers are not accountable or strictly regulated. If you do need to take supplements, try to find a liquid or better still the powder variety. 
listed below are the most common supplements thought to help arthritics, vitamin A, B1, B2, B6, B12, C, D, E, F, K, folic acid, copper, iron, magnesium, glucosamine, calcium. Vitamin D is crucial for the absorption of calcium, which our body needs to build bone. A recent study found that people with higher levels of vitamin D in their blood were more likely to survive cancer, heart disease and diabetes. Having extremely low levels could increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and arthritis. Just in case you're interested, recommended dosage, US 400 IU, international units per day, UK, there is no recommended supplementary dose in the UK. Taking around 1,000 international units per day is thought to be for beneficial for some raw sufferers. Overdose of vitamin D is highly unlikely on doses of up to 2,500 IU per day. Always use vitamin supplement D3, and not D2, easily available in 1,000 IU form. Arthritis relief protocol discounting diet and other such methods of relief brings me to the pivotal point of this book, you see while diet changes do in fact really help, they are by nature difficult to implement and let's face it who really wants to cut everything they enjoy out of their diet. The following protocol is the same method successfully used by many raw sufferers to reverse and control their arthritis. Step 1. Optional fasting, detoxification. Fasting is nothing new and is well known to be beneficial for those of us wishing to rid our bodies of the harmful toxins trapped within. Fasting is not crucial to the success of this treatment, it is however a great way of kickstarting and speeding up the process. Individuals should make their own decision on whether to fast or not, I've included it because it helps. See fasting chapter above. Step 2. Apple Cider Vinegar, taken twice daily. Description of apple cider vinegar below, add 2 tablespoons of organic, unpasteurized and unfiltered apple cider vinegar to a medium-sized glass of filtered or mineral water. You may substitute the water for fresh apple juice depending on taste if you require. The glass size will need to hold approximately 8 ounces of water or juice. Drink the tonic first thing in the morning, before breakfast, and again before retiring to bed. Make sure you only use the organic, unpasteurized and unfiltered variety of apple cider vinegar, as this contains the mother. The mother is apparent as cloudy sediment. Apple cider vinegar is pivotal to this whole method, it may sound absurd, but it works. Step 3. Cut anything made with white flour out of your diet. Step 4. Eat fresh cherries daily, only for the first two weeks, try to eat at least five every day. Step 5. Drink plenty of filtered or mineral water, drink at least 2 liters per day, every day. ACV, a brief history apple cider vinegar in its most natural form is the secret ingredient used by thousands of people to treat a wide variety of illnesses. This component combined with the other elements described will help you achieve your goal. Vinegar and notably apple cider vinegar has been employed for its medicinal properties throughout history. Hippocrates the father of medicine is known to have treated patients with vinegar in 400 BC, for thousands of years people have been aware of vinegar's benefits. Generations of families have passed down this age-old remedy, knowing of its remarkable properties. Folk healers and alternative therapists have continued to use and recommend apple cider vinegar as a treatment for specific diseases, ailments and as a daily health tonic. Modern-day science would have you believe that alternative treatments like this are little more than hype. I have read articles regarding apple cider vinegar, articles which ridicule the use of the liquid as a medicine, medical articles which say there is no proof that apple cider vinegar has any medicinal properties in the treatment of arthritis. Hype doesn't last for thousands of years, apple cider vinegar works and has always worked, just because medical science can't explain it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist, or in this case work. As they say the proof is in the eating, is it better to use something that nature intended as a medicine, or is it better to fill your body full of chemicals and toxins to keep the drug companies happy? Apple cider vinegar Apple cider vinegar must always be used in its purest form, you must always use organic, unpasteurized, unfiltered ACV, and this variety contains the mother. 
The term mother refers to the unfiltered sediment which is visible at the bottom of the bottle. This sediment is very important as it contains all of the goodness. Distilling and filtering the apple cider vinegar removes the mother, rendering the tonic as little more than useless. The treated and mass-produced apple cider vinegar is the kind you will find in most supermarkets as it is pretty to look at, don't be tempted to use this variety. Pure ACV can be purchased from most health food stores or online. Always use the liquid as described and don't be tempted to use capsule supplements as an alternative. Properties of Apple Cider Vinegar Apple Cider Vinegar is known to kill bad bacteria, fungi, and viral infections. ACV cleans the digestive tract and inhibits the growth of damaging fungus, and it removes crystals and toxins from the joints. ACV also helps the body's digestive system work to its optimum. Apple cider vinegar is rich in potassium, which is needed by the body to promote new cell and tissue growth, also contained are calcium, iron and phosphorus. Taking apple cider vinegar regularly is known to maintain the body's natural pH balance. Research suggests that apple cider vinegar may also be beneficial in lowering blood pressure, helping control diabetes, relieve acid reflux and sinus problems, and combat skin disorders including allergies. How long until I see results? By following this method daily you should expect to see results in a short space of time, in some cases just days. Obviously I don't know the severity of your condition, so I can't tell you exactly how long it will take for you to see noticeable results. Many people notice a marked improvement in approximately one month. Quick Start Arthritis Protocol The steps marked with importance should be adhered to at all times, to give this method of treatment its best chance of success. Step 1. Fasting for 2 days, detoxification, optional. Step 2. Apple Cider Vinegar, twice daily, add 2 tablespoons to 8 ounces water. Important. Step 3. Cut white flour completely out of your diet. Important. Step 4. Eat fresh cherries daily for the first two weeks. Important. Step 5. Drink at least 2 liters of filtered or mineral water per day, every day. Important. Thank you for taking the time to read this book, I do hope you have found it useful and beneficial as others have. I wish you the very best of health for the future year.